Hello everyone, welcome back to chapter 15 of Bayonetta, and we're gonna climb a tower of truth, it seems. I had to say, it's been a little bit since we've done any recording, so we just kicked John's ass, watched her explode, and got our thing back, right? Yeah, our thing is safe, and so is the other thing that we've decided is no longer Cheshire. Huh. Why do I have a bad feeling about this? Because ominous doorways should always give you bad feelings. My god, it's the door to light! We're screwed! Welcome back. Oh, sorry, you aren't supposed to be here yet. <laughs> it looks like about time you expected. woke up. She's like napped through all of this. Well, she looks to be about five. They need sleep, I guess. I think yeah, I think I she's know. supposed to be three, but I'm not sure. You, so don't screw up. Close enough. I got things under control. L let's go. They stay next to me. And for the love of God, help me! If you run off again, I swear, I'll so lay the smack down. <laughs> oh, great Jesus is talking to us again. <sighs> Dude, shut up! We don't care. Hmm. Daddy. What? What? Oh please, I'd never fuck anything that sounded so droll. So now I get to meet the supposed person who helped me create this thing? Okay, I don't know what this is going. And of course, she runs off again. Typical, typical, typical. That's just like such a normal thing a kid to do. Don't do that. Okay, proceeds to do it. Dick. Here's the thing, I think that this entire game is the reason that they now have child leashes! Ha, ah, Luca got left behind. Again. Well, start climbing the damn stairs. Okay, let's do this. There's a hidden thing here. Of course. Oh god, go away. Not too bad though. But yeah, I swear, Ceres is probably the entire reason that they invented those stupid child animal leashes. I think... <laughs> I think my parents actually used to have those. Seriously? Yeah, I think they did when like, me and my brother were really, really young. But that's because when you're like five, you've got no self-control. So yeah. you need to be told to stay in line. <laughs> I was like, my, my aunt tried to put me in one of those, and my mom just about bitch slapped her. It's like, my daughter is not a dog. Oh, ouch. Yeah, these things are stupid dogs, though, and they deserve to be killed! Indeed. Whoa. Speaking of dogs, have you ever noticed how the Pokemon, those, uh, those dog, legendary dog things, they don't look like dogs, they look more like wild cats? Uh, no. Because I can't remember much about the legendary dogs, because I've not touched Pokemon in years. So okay. I would not—I would not be the right person to ask this question to. Come on, you—you're telling me you don't remember Suicune, Entei, and Raikou? I remember them. I just don't remember like specific details. They look like dogs to me. I don't know. Somebody actually held up their picture next to pictures of like a jaguar, a tiger, and uh, and a lion, and it kind of coincided. A jaguar. <laughs> Oh, American pronunciations are the best. Oh, uh, Jaguar then! <laughs> Lord. I just wanted to be a douche. I think I did it. My favorites are Panthers anyway. Yeah, also, yeah, this particular variation of Angel is bad because not only are they on fire, they also happen to be quite quick. So always make sure you shoot a bunch of bullets, otherwise they will hurt if you try and hit them. Yeah. I'll just use witch time, that'll work too. Oh yeah. Plus they've got you in a bottleneck, you're on a staircase. Yeah, the camera's not very forgiving in this bit. Whoa. Nice dodge. Haha, <laughs> fuck you. Kill it! How is it not dead yet? We beat you in the face with a demon boot. Move! Demon boot! 
Demon hair boots, away! I want a pair of demon boots. Wouldn't that just be awesome to have a pair of demon boots? Dust well, you have boot. to sell your soul in the contract to get the boots. I, I don't know if I really want to pay that much. Uh, it's not stopping her. <laughs> nah, but she can flaunt it. She don't give a fuck. True. Plus, if she can fight in high heels, then I have nothing but respect. What the hell? There are people in here? Yeah, they're supposed to be security guards, but obviously they're just like, <laughs> Ah, things are exploding! Uh! You suck at your job! What the fuck is that? Hmm... I got a bad feeling about those red things. Those look like coffins. You would be right. Ow. We just went full Tales of Symphonia here, folks. Yeah, in the official art book, those are supposed to hold the bodies of witches, and their power is supposed to be powering the entire building. It's pretty fucked up! Um... Yeah. We just went full Tales of Symphonia here, viewers! Yeah. I, I do not understand what the connection is, personally, but I'll take your word for it. <laughs> well, okay, in Tales of Symphonia, spoiler alert if I ever get the capture card and try to do this game, it's longer than shit, but anyway. There's a tower that you have to get to, called the Tower of Salvation, and that's where the Chosen has to go to regenerate the world. Unfortunately, they get there and they find, like, hundreds of thousands of these floating coffins with all the bodies of the previous Chosen in them, and it's like, oh my fucking god! Well, that's like a very Final Fantasy X-ish twist. Yeah. <laughs> and that's that's not even the full game, that's only, like, halfway through the game. Halfway? No, that's not even halfway, that's maybe like a quarter of the way through the game. Oh dear. We're not Can gonna have fun with these. Woo. Ugh. Smash it! Yeah, luckily, torture attacks, they're kind of the best thing to go for in this situation. Ash! Stop resisting and die! There you go. <laughs> there you go. Good I angel. I buddy just kind of stood there and watched. Like, oh god, Jared's getting killed. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> Oh my god! No, 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 no! Jared, help me! Help me! Oh my god! I'm sorry, like, I'm not getting in the way of this! This is, like, you should fucking kill me! Like, no! Where are we are? Okay. I'm alive! I'm still alive! Yeah. Alright, bitch, you're not getting on that. You're not getting me with that again. Oh, just you wait, dear. I'm starting to wonder, like, maybe these angels should, like, be thinking, okay, can we just leave now? We obviously are getting our ass kicked, so let's just go home. Okay. And I'm getting my ass kicked. So these guys are getting a lot of hits on me. Well, they're kind of being cheap. I mean, that twister attack, you should have been able to activate witch time with that. Yeah, you can't activate witch time with these guys at all. Oh, that's fucking cheap as hell. Yeah, it is. I can get magic from dodging them, but I can't get witch time unless I use a particular accessory, which I don't have, so... I mean, but that's the thing, you could see when she flipped how she kind of slowed down as, as though it would trigger witch time, but it doesn't with these enemies, I guess. Nope. Whoa. See? You jackass! Yeah, luckily, dodging does give you extra magic, so it's kind of best to do it anyway, even if you don't get witch time for it. Yeah. Well, that and it helps you stay alive. That as well. I remember when I was playing this game, I'd always get too quick with the dodge button, and I'd go uh, beast within instead of dodging. It's like fuck! <laughs> I'd like start panicking and start button mashing, and then go into Panther. Like, oh, I, I, how did I still get platinum? That's well, okay. Don't question it. Just accept it and enjoy it. Cuddle that metal. The oh, fuck? Oh, good. Uh... There you go, Bayonetta, that's the the rest of your entire clan in those things. Just in case you weren't aware. Okay. Um I have reached the decision that the person at the top of this tower needs to die. Well, that was kind of the aim from the very beginning, but you know. Now it's just proper Reinforce. for reals, yo. So shit just got real. Besides the our thing ran off again, and she needs to yeah. stop doing that. Yeah, like I said, we, we need to get, like, a, a leash and tie it to one of our boots. That way, if she tries to run off, it's like, nope! Luckily, that's going to be a weapon in Bayonetta 2. <laughs> Whips what, on leash? your feet, it's actually going to be a thing, so... What, a leash on your feet? Well, not a leash, but, like, a whip. 
on, on both your feet. So like, and one of the attacks you've seen in demos is that you can flick your foot out and you can grab enemies with it and pull it in. So it works in the same way. Huh, well, that's kind of neat. Maybe we can grab that Yugi kid and he's like, What the fuck are you talking about, you crazy little shit? <laughs> I swear, that kid must be voiced by a female, because that voice in the trailer did not sound very masculine at all. Welcome to hell, love. It's like, yeah. It's like, the fuck? You stole Yugi's Millennium Item and you sound like a woman. <laughs> the hell is wrong with you, dude? Man, I want that game. I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna be sad that it replaces this one as my favorite game of all time, but it's more Bayonetta, so I can't really complain. Oh, that's true. And plus, you actually get two games in one when you buy Bayonetta too. Oh yeah, they announced that this one's gonna get a Wii U port, so mm -hmm. I can actually play this game at a full 60 frames a second without all the slowdown anymore. <laughs> yep. Gives you more of a challenge because you could try doing it with the touchscreen. Uh, Grudge was actually very upset that he wouldn't have any kind of challenges in this game anymore because he's practically butt fucked the entire game. Yeah, I I've like. I've beaten the secret boss of Rodan, I've beaten almost everything at Pure Platinum, I've gotten all the accessories, I've beaten Angel Slayer. So, and it was getting to a point where it was like, I'm sad, I don't have anything else to do with this game now. But now that the Wii U is getting a part of it, I can just do it all again there and it'll be fantastic. So, yeah, for all those who didn't know, Bird is a little obsessed with this game. Just a little bit. A little bit is too, uh, too... <laughs> tame for the actual level of obsession, but... Um, you know what I just realized? What? This game actually coincides with the name of the channel. Does it? <laughs> yeah! Well, think about it. It's like, it's like, um... Uh, what was our fat little friend's name? Fat the, friend. The, yeah, the fat little friend that was in the beginning of the game. What was his name again? Oh, Enzo. Oh, yeah, that, that little freak. He was saying that um, we had to... Like, kill angels every day or we get dragged to hell. That's part of a curse, even though she did it of her own free will. And we're technically cursed scale TV. Ah. It is a connection, nonetheless. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't see how the, I don't see how the scale turns into it, but... Oh, Gamora, we, we have Fluffy uh, on our side. Dude, Gamora, or Gamora, what, however you say his fucking name. Yeah, we've got, we've got Fluffy. I forgot yeah. about him. <laughs> He, oh, beco he becomes a bad dog in Bayonetta 2, and that's kind of bad. But yeah. it is great because they recently like updated the demo where he goes berserk, and <laughs> as soon as he breaks free and like like fucks everything up, the first thing Bayonetta is like, she just says like, "I'm not one for pets who don't listen to their masters." It's like, Ooh. like oh, at that point, if if any if, if if Fluffy was sane, he'd just be like, "I'm sorry, I'm sorry, mommy, please don't hurt me." <laughs> oh god. <laughs> That, I was really worried that, like, as soon as I heard mention of the sequel, I was really worried they wouldn't keep her attitude right. But mm -hmm. then I've seen these extended demos, and it's still there. It's still amazing and badass. And also, one of the things is that Nintendo are not compromising on it at all. Like, there's they with like all the new Nintendo themed uh, costumes they added into it. Um, and one of the things is a Link costume. And originally, she had an undershirt on it. And then Nintendo said, no, take that out and show a cleavage off because otherwise it's just not Bayonetta. And I'm like, oh, Nintendo! You're being great. <laughs> you, you can't have Bayonetta without showing off the cleavage. And the same thing with the Princess Peach uh, outfit. The dress is supposed to come all the way down, but they turned it into like a tutu, so it's like, hello! <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> and the great thing is about the Princess Peach um, costume is that instead of Madame Butterfly, you summon Bowser's fists and feet. <laughs> it's so cool. Oh, wow. Well, it's, it's kind of like that with the Link costumes. Like, when you use the key you're, on anything, you hear that um, kind of Hyrule-ish... <laughs> yeah, that kind of sound effect. All the halos just... turn to rupees as well, which yeah. is just even better. Oh, yeah. I want to see how they do with the... Sa with the, uh, with the sa is, is it Samus or Samos? Uh, I've heard a name be said Samus or Samus. I don't think it really matters either way. E either way, I don't know. But, um... I want to see how they do that, because I've never played Metroid. Yeah, Metroid, I've only ever played like a handful of Metroid games, and they're alright. Some of them are a bit douchey in terms of how the things you have to do to win, but they're alright. <laughs> yeah, um, I've only played like a couple of Legend of Zelda games that I felt were the same way. I played Oracle of Ages and Oracle of Seasons, and some of those parts that you have to do, and they don't even tell you what to do, is like, okay, am I supposed to do this through osmosis, or what the fuck do you want me to do? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, just a little disclaimer, folks. I need to go back 
all the way to the beginning of the level. Because there are things there. Okay, let's go find the thing. I do like how flowers grow when you run this panther. That's, that's kind of neat. Yeah. Flowers with skull heads on them, I should point out. Oh, I never saw the skull heads! Yeah, they are there. I'm not sure if I'm moving too fast for it to be picked up, but they are there. Um, it's actually a reference to Okami, because, um... Oh! I'm a, I'm a, however you say her name. Yeah, Amy, it is. as Luca calls her in this game, uh, she has the same kind of effect when she runs, so... I'm also really glad that Panther Within is actually coming back in Bayonetta 2 as well, but it's got like a new look, with like blue ribbons and stuff instead, it's gonna be cool. I don't know. Oh hey, Elfan! Yep. But, first, we need to get a ch hidden chest that is back here. Well, there's actually a... Hang on. There's a oh, crow within sneaky. the corner, but there's a chest here as well, obviously. Those sneaky bastards. Yep. Hand it to Platinum to keep their secrets well hidden. Oh, yes. So there's like a crow... Yeah, there it is, but... Nope. Fuck it. Alright, anyway, we'll leave it here for this video, so join us in the next episode where I go into this portal and kick some ass! Hopefully. Bye-bye! <laughs>